Hello friends, today we are going to see how to swap the nodes in a linked list pairwise. So let's see. So in this example, this is the original linked list that is A, B, C, D, E, F and the last node points to null. So here the pairs A, B, C, D and E, F will be swapped. So you can see in the answer that is the swapped linked list AB will become BA, CD will become DC and EF will become FE and the last node will point to null. So let's see how to do this. So I will tell you the steps for converting this linked list to a swapped linked list. So note that these two linked list are the same linked lists I am just I am just doing rough work here now so you can see in the answer B points to A so the pointer of B should point to A as this is a singly linked list B can store only one address so now B cannot store address for C as the pointer has been changed to A now here is one problem that if the pointer of B is changed to A that is previously it, it was to C and we deleted this pointer and we made it to point to A. Now we lost the address of C. We have lost the address of C. Now we cannot trace C because the pointer points to A. So here is a very important thing that before before deleting this pointer we have to store the address of C in a temporary variable. So now the temp variable points to C and now we are allowed to change the pointer of B to A, C. Now A here points to D. So let's make pointer of A point to D. That is the next of temp. So, so this is done. So for this pair as the pointer of A is pointing to D, I deleted this pointer because this is a singly linked list. So for this pair we have swapped the pointers and let's go to the next pair now. So in this pair, see now temp will store the address of E. because E is the next node of the second node in this pair. Always remember temp will point to the next node of the second node in the given pair. So next node of the second node that is D. D is the second node in this pair and the next node of D is E and temp will point to E. So let's do it now. So as temp is pointing to E we can delete this pointer and this will point to C and the pointer of C will point to F that is the next of temp. Now let's go to the third pair. Now temp will point to null and as we have stored null in temp so we can change the pointer to e and because temp is holding null this is the breaking condition for this program as temp is pointing to null we can make the next pointer of E as null. 
because this is the as temp is pointing to null we can say that e is the last node of this link list of this new link list which is swapped so we can say this is the last pair and this is the last node for this link list so let's see the program for this this is the code for converting the link list into a swapped link list that is pairwise pairwise swapping so the name of this function is swap pairs and the start is passed so i will execute this whole code on this link list so this is the start a and p is pointing to start so p will point to start and so p is pointing to a now and the new start is p points next so the next node of p is the new start is the starting of the new link list the swapped link list you can see the second node of the link list is the starting node of the new link list so b is the starting node in any given link list if you are told to swap pairwise then the second node in the original link list is always the starting node in the new link list that is the pairwise swapped link list so this is the new start so we will our new start points to b now as you know we have to go into the while loop now as you know q will point to p points next so what does this mean so p is pointing to a and q will point to b and the next step is temp equal to q points next so temp variable should store the address of c q points next that is the next node of, node of b so temp will point to c so this is the current status p is pointing to a q is pointing to b and temp is pointing to c now the swapping begins so this line is the line where the pointers are changed so as we have stored the address of c in temp we are free to change the pointer of b to a we have deleted that pointer and that pointer will now point to a and here in this code this is the breaking condition this is the breaking condition for this while loop i will explain this breaking condition at the last iteration so let's go to the next line now so p points next is equal to temp points next so as you know a will point to d and d is temp points next so temp points next is here and p will now p will now point to temp points next so next of temp is d now we have to delete this pointer this pointer now points to d and p will jump at the next pair p is equal to temp so this p will jump here as this is the next pair now and as the p jumps to the next pair this iteration is over and we go to the next iteration and all the pointers now will be assigned new addresses in this next iteration so i will just delete all this temp and so the starting of the next iteration is with p pointing to the next pair that is p pointing to c the first node of the next pair so again start q is equal to p points next so q will point here and as you know temp will store 
the address of e so temp is equal to q points next and now the important step q points next equal to p so the next pointer of q will point to p so this will be deleted because these point pointer is pointing to c now and the next line we, we are skipping this condition at the last iteration i will explain you this condition so we are going to the next line p points next equal to temp points next so the next pointer of c will point to f this is the condition and p will jump to the next pair so now p will p will jump to the next pair and all the pointers will be deleted because they are going to have a new address now so in the next iteration next iteration will begin with p pointing to e that is the first node of the next pair so q is equal to p points next so q will point to the next node and then q points uh, then temp equal to q points next so temp will be null and the main step q points next equal to p so q points next equal to p so the q is pointing to p means f is pointing to e and as the pointer of f points to e here we have to delete this pointer so here is the breaking condition now you can see in this condition temp is equal to equal to null and here temp is null now so this condition will be satisfied and we point the next pointer of p to null here it is temp actually we have to point it to null but as the temp is null at this stage we make pointer of next pointer of p to point to temp and main um, and just remember that temp is null so we are making the last node of the new link list to point to null that is temp so now you can see here is one more condition in or that is temp points next equal to equal to null so when this condition encounters so i will tell you the answer the length of this linked list is 6 and this is a, an even length so as the length of this linked list is even every node is in pairs but you see this link list the length is 5 so there are two pairs and one node is an individual node so there is no pair e is not in pairs in this case this is the last pair and when this is the last pair temp points to e and at this situation the pointer p if this is the last pair then p will point to c q will point to d and temp will point to e so next pointer of p will point to e so a b and this is c next pointer of c will point to e so the answer for this will be a b will be converted to b a then c d will be converted to d c and c will point to e and e will point to null so just understand that this condition encounters or this condition is satisfied when the length of the linked list is odd you can get the full code for uh, for this program means the text file of the code is available at github.com slash vivekanand44 you can take this code and you can use this code for your work
हे फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एज आई पोस्ट अल्गोरिदम वीडियोज एवरी डे एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट अ वीडियो ऑन एनी पर्टिक्युलर टॉपिक देन प्लीज मेन्शन इन द कमेंट बिलो थैंक यू